Welcome to this new lecture of course Natural Language Processing with Python. In this lecture, we will learn feature extraction from text data in NLP. Machine learning algorithms don't understand textual data directly. We need to represent the text data into numerical form or vectors when we use uh, machine learning algorithms in NLP. To convert each textual each textual sentence into a vector, we need to represent it as a set of features. The set of features should uniquely represent the text, though individually some of the features may be common across many textual sentences. Feature can be classified into two different categories. First category, journal feature, features. These features are statistical calculations and don't depend on the content of the text. Some example of journal features could be the number of tokens in the text, the number of characters in the text, and so on. And specific features. These features are dependent on the inherent meaning of the text and represent the semantics, semantics of the text. For example, the, free, the frequency of unique words in the text is a specific feature or an example of a specific is an example of a specific feature in natural language processing. Now we understand now we first see the what are journal features. As we have already learned, journal features refer to those that are not directly dependent on the individual tokens constituting a text corpus. Let's consider Two sentences. The first sentence is the sky is blue and the second sentence the pillar is yellow. Hence the sentence have the same number of words. This is a journal feature that is four but the individual constant tokens are different. Let's complete an exercise to understand this better or in a better way. Exercise Extracting general feature from raw text. In this exercise, we will extract general features from input text. The general feature features include detecting the number of words, the presence of WH words means the words beginning with WH, such as what and why, and the language in which the text is written. So, open a computer notebook or CoLab and then import the panda library and create a data frame with four sentences. Import panda library and as PD and then text block object from text text block class from text block library and import NLTK library and then download the punct with from NLTK library and then we create a data frame with four sentences uh, this is the first sentence the second the third and the fourth and then we create a column named text in our data frame and then we check the this data frame whether it is uh, created or not from the cell okay pd is not defined it's me first we run the first cell that's okay now run this okay our data frame is successfully created and it's and the column name is text and these are the instances or records of these columns and these are the indexes of these rows or sentences or records or data instances okay use the play function to iterate through each row these are the rows each row of the column text then convert them into text below objects and extract words from them. Okay. 
now we define a function add underscore number underscore words and pass our data frame it's been our data set and then we create a column a new column whose name is number of words actually this is the syntax of creating a new column in data frame or add, creating or adding a new column in data frame then d of f text it's mean we this is the text column and then apply this function the whole this lambda function on the column text in our data frame which we which we have created in this set. okay what is this function okay first see our each row of text represents x and now each row of x first convert into string and then convert into text block object and then dot words mean extract the all words separately from this row or sentence and then we check the length of these words it means this function this part of code determine the length of a string or or count the words in each sentence of the row and then we return df and we see the okay this is a function okay now we run the cell and see the output of this function okay it's mean the first line the first line or the, our first sentence consists of 11 words and second consists of 15 and the third sentence and fourth sentence consists on eight words this is the function this is the function of our of this method of function in cell 4 use the apply function to iterate through each row of the column text of our data frame and then convert the text into text blob blob objects like in the previous cell and then extract the words from them to check whether any of them belong to the list of wh words wh words means the words which starts with wh that has been declared for this we define a user defined function is underscore present this is the list of words which starts with wh and df means this is our data frame it's mean it's take two arguments this stuff words starts with wh and our data frame and then we create a an other column in our data frame whose name is is underscore wh underscore words could present and then we apply the apply this whole function on our column text sentences in the text column okay now we try to understand these lines of course okay first thing x is our sentence it converts convert into string data types and then it converts into text blob object and then the, and then we calculate the intersection with the list of words whose starts with wh if the intersect if the intersection is greater than zero it means not a set of intersection is not null then then and it's false mean it's true it's mean it's one and uh, return true if the set of intersection between our our words of sentence and the list of words starting with wh is greater than zero then this lambda function turn true else it's return false and then return our data frame now we check 
the, the working of this function okay so this is this return a set and this is also is a list but we convert in a set and then we call our function is underscore present is underscore present and we pass first this list and then we pass our data frame and then we check the our new column entries it's me our first sentence I have no word which starts with the, there is no word in present in the in our sentence which starts with wh so it's false true means it's mean in sentence two you can easily check actually in this sentence there is words which starts with the wh Do you know how much one it costs for How is present in this word and as well as also present in this sentence. So therefore, the answer is true. The intersection of the second sentence and this list is true, and other two uh, and other two sentences have has no words which starts with wh. Okay. this is our first exercise in which we have learned we have learned to extract the raw features of journal feature from the text extracting extracting journal features or sorry specific features from text in this exercise we will extract various journal features from documents the data set that we will be using here consists of random statements our objective is to find the frequency of various journal features such as punctuation, uppercase and lowercase words, letters, digits, words and white spaces. So I quickly read this exercise. These are the required library and algorithms which we have to need, which we have need to complete the complete this exercise so first we have a, so run this okay. okay our required data has downloaded successfully now we print on extract the tag list part of speech tagging list these are the part of speech is part of speech which are available or uh, stored or built in in the NLTK library calculate the number of occurrence of each part of speech by iterating through each document and annotating each word with the corresponding part of speech tag add the following code to implement this Okay. Okay. Mount the drive because we have access the data set from our Google Drive. Okay.
okay google drive has mounted successfully and now run this cell so that we can read the data.csv file from google drive okay this is our text now we run our function for part of speech tagging okay in okay this all this is the part of speech tagging uh, data frame to calculate the number of punctuation marks at the following codes uh, this is the same uh, like same function lambda function and then apply text and these are the intersection punctuation determine punctuation and so on So its main sentence first has zero punctuation and zero punctuation character. Sentence two has one punctuation character and sentence three has. So to calculate the number of capitalized words at the following, it means the the words present in our sentences which starts with the capital letters. So we write to extract these capitalized word this function and then we check the function work it's mean in our first sentence one word capitalized in two one into one and so on so on to calculate the number of lower case words only change is there is load and then so in our first sentences, uh, four lowercase words and etc. To calculate the number of letters in the data frame is alpha. Okay. So then to calculate the number of digits in the in our data frame, which we have already created in the previous cell of access our first exercise okay there is no digit in our old data frame number of words in the data frame okay okay in first sentence five words and the second sentence consists of four words and so on now to calculate the number of five spaces in the data frame So in first uh, uh, sentence contain four uh, white spaces and so on. To view the full feature set we have just created at the following code. These are our columns, new columns which we which we have inserted with which we have created uh, during different during performing during performing different operations actually this data set is the final data set after all operations which we perform which we perform on our data set so thank you very much see you in the next lecture of of natural language processing with python